Hey, welcome everyone. Um, so today I'll try and make a decent tutorial on uh, player movement. Um, I'm going to use Action Script 3 and I'll be using Flash CS5, but Flash really hasn't changed much uh, since uh, CS3, so you can use anything you want. It'll look about the same as my layout does. I'm using the developer layout. Um, so the first thing we're going to want to do is click a new file. Create Action Script 3. And then we're going to want to save it. Um, and we'll call it um, player movement tutorial. You know, I just want to do caps on the new words. I'm going to save it on my desktop. Alright, the next thing we want is just select quick project. That's good. Now we want um, to. Oops, not a new folder. We want to add a new file. And it'll come out like this, and we want it to be an action script file because we'll be working both visually and in code. And we're just going to call this um, main movement. Battle. I spelled main like that. I live in Maine, so I can do that. Um, alright, so what we're going to do here is we want to create a, um, just an object, so we'll just make a bouncy ball, like move, just a circle. So let's just select the oval tool, um, there it is, I think yellow is more appropriate. Alright, and then we're just going to go click it, we're going to go up here, modify, um, and then you want to do convert to symbol. You want to make sure to move the clip, and we'll call it um, call it player. And you want to make sure you have export to action, export for action script clipped. We'll press OK. All right, and we'll give it an instant name of player with a lowercase p. Now we go back to our main file. And let's just save this. Alright, let's go back to the main. Alright, so, now for the boring stuff. So we're going to type a package. And we're going to import a few things. Mm. Alright, so, every, uh, Every class that you'll probably ever make will extend the movie clip class. And that's what we just imported, and we also imported the keyboard event, which is what's going to tell us when something happens on our screen. So now let's make our class, um, and you want to make sure this is the same name as the title of this action script file, and then you want to extend it from, like I said earlier, the movie clip class. All right. Um, and we're gonna make uh, two variables. One we'll call. Uh, uh, speed x and this is it. You ints are um just positive integers. Um, it just takes up less CPU. Um, all right, and then. Let's make our first class where everything is initiated in. Let's see what I do. 
Okay. And doesn't take any arguments. I'm gonna put a breath there. And we're gonna make an init method, which um, basically is what the whole program is placed into. And you'll see this in a sec. Alright, so here's our init method. Do it right now. Um, and it doesn't return anything, so we'll mark it as a void. Alright. So, let's see. Alright, I've got plenty of time. So let's let's uh, set values to our variables and I'm gonna set them both to zero. And this means that uh, when the game starts, the player and the ball will be will be frozen in place. Alright, now we have to add our event listeners. So this one is adding it directly to the stage. This one we want to do key. Up. All right, and this we'll delete this. We want to add this one to the stage. All right, and I'll explain this method in a second. Is the um, event dot event import event dot enter frame? All right, all right. So we have a few more minutes left, and I may have to just make another one, but I think we can finish it in time. Um, and on enter. So then we're going to close that off with brackets. So that's our uh, initializing me method. So now we're going to work on our different keys. So now I'm referencing the action handler. So this is saying if um, if the left key, which means is referring to the left arrow, is pressed down, then do this. And so we're going to do um, speed x because we're going along the x-axis here um, equals negative. Five. And because the left it it decreases, we're decreasing the value of the speed. All right, and then we're just gonna kind of copy and paste this a little. We have one more minute left, so I'll continue this tutorial probably in another video. Let's see how much we can get done in the meantime. All right, so here we go again. If event keep, let's make this down or right actually, and right would be incrementing by positive 5, and then we'll do it again, we're going to close off that bracket, alright, now down and up, now down and up is y, so if the top right hand corner of the screen is the coordinate 0, 0, um, down would be a positive, we're going to change that to be y, alright, I got to actually uh, end this video and it'll be on another one, I'll have it up in a, right after this one. Alright, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Bye.